Good evening, everybody, and you are very welcome to our talk this evening for Transition Year 2022. I was uh, reflecting with the third year students at their assembly there yesterday on the fact that the opportunity for Transition Year is coming at a really, really good time for them, a very important time. And that's for a number of reasons. And the first of those, I suppose, has to do with curriculum and skills development. There is no doubt that the pandemic has interfered with the provision of the junior cycle curriculum for students over the last three years. It has been difficult for students themselves and for their teachers to engage as fully with the curriculum as they might have done in previous years. And that's both in terms of the detail and the skills development that might have happened previously. And therefore, I suppose it is really great that there is an opportunity coming up in fourth year that might provide for anybody who needs to develop their skills and their academics a little bit further before they head into senior cycle. So that's one angle on it. But a much more fundamental and important angle, I think, has to do with the very nature of transition year itself. It is a tremendous opportunity halfway through second level education to take a chance, an opportunity to develop yourself as a person. And that is the great value of transition year in the Irish education system. That notion of holistic education that we talk about here in Mount Hawk so often. The importance of developing, yes, academically and intellectually, but also physically and emotionally and socially and psychologically. And again, in that space, there is no doubt but that junior cycle has been challenging for all our third year students. They have, for the most part, either been online or offline. And even when they were here in school, life has been conducted behind masks. And that has been challenging. And that's why I think transition year is coming at just the perfect time here. We are starting to re-emerge from the pandemic. Life is coming back again into school. We have had some tremendous stuff in transition year this year. There's been a wonderful fashion show. You can still see that on YouTube if you want to. They were part of the carol service. There is a lovely production of the importance of being earnest going on down in Shimsa this week. We have two All-Ireland basketball finals today. Life is returning. And transition year would provide a tremendous opportunity for boys and girls inside and third year to engage again fully in the life of the school, which hopefully will open up completely next year. To get that chance to involve themselves in the Young Scientist competition, and we did tremendously well on that again this year, thanks to teachers and students who got involved, in Young Social Innovation, in work experience, in all the myriad of aspects that go to make up the programme of Transition Year. So, with those few thoughts in mind, I am going to hand you over to our Transition Year Coordinator, Ronan Redican, to bring you through the shape of the Transition Year programme and to give you a sense of the value, the worth and the opportunities that Transition Year provides for all our third year students. Thank you again for joining us this evening. Thank you, Mr O'Rourke. Welcome, parents and guardians, and a very special welcome to you our third year students. Hopefully by the end of this presentation, you will have gained an insight into what a transition year student is like in Mercy Moon Talk and what it entails. And that may help you in deciding if it's a right fit for you. So our presentation today is about transition year 2022-2023. And we will reflect a lot on what we've already done in 2021 to 22 that'll help guide us in what's going on in transition year. So to start that off, and before we get into the nitty gritty, we're going to have a look at some of the things that transition year students have done this year. So the first obvious one is our massively successful fashion show. As you can see there, that's just one scene from it in which our students put on a hybrid of a live show and streamed it broadcast quality out to the masses. We've had a huge response to it and we raised over 8,000 for the Kerry Cancer Bus Link services which was fantastic fantastic achievement um so well done to our students there and that's just one of the things that 
you, our third year students, will be getting involved in going forward. We It's an annual event, and no matter whether we had COVID or not, we still managed to succeed in getting the fashion show last year completely online. This year, a mixture of both live and streamed event. So next year, who knows? But we'll definitely be going forward with something. Here we have some of our students engage in what looks like a sword fighting, but it's actually one of the cultural events associated with a particular language that we ran as a day of languages in the school. It was a fantastic event in which the students gained many different experiences of different cultures associated with many different languages in the world. Here our transition year students this year went to see uh, a comedian and here they are <laughs> they don't look too enthused there yet but that's before the show starts but you know even though under lockdown we managed to get all our students in and watch this show and we're looking forward again to going to Shimsa on Thursday to see the importance of being earnest half our students are going then and then we've another bunch going on Friday evening to the same show put on by Mercy Man Talk and our students are really looking forward to that here our students are involved in many uh, projects and many competitions and the students here are holding laptops that they won in the gold mine event in association with MTU just up the road. It was a fantastic event in which they came up with an app that scans uh, produce in a fridge to let people know when the uh, uh, use by date is so that there's no food wastage. It's a brilliant idea and a fantastic concept that they saw from just a vague idea all the way through and they were well deserving winners and we have met, won many competitions much like the one here which we had fantastic success there um, just in the last few days with the BT Young Scientists and we see um, Rachel Feedy there who came third she's a transition year student and she came highly commended for her amazing uh, project on new form of surgical instruments and our students there uh, came runners up group were former TY students who did BT Young Scientists in transition year and they saw a project from transition year kept with it in fifth year and saw it through to become this runner up winner in the overall competition. We had many students who won um, awards in the BT Young Scientists and many of them were former transition year students and we won the overall best school, uh, a BT Young Scientist school in the country. And it's a fantastic achievement. And a lot of that springs from their involvement with their teachers, but also f with their experiences at transition year. Here we have some students engaged in YSI this year. We've been very successful with YSI. As you may know, we won the competition there last year. And as the students that you just saw at the desk there beforehand are engaged in a project in which they're raising awareness about a certain issue. And they do various things like selling produce that raise uh, money that they can then use for uh, awareness campaigns. And it's a massive competition. YSI is huge. It's a national competition and we were very lucky to win it uh, last year and it's something we're very, very proud of. And those students who are now gone into fifth year are still working on that project. So the beginnings in transition year uh, blossoms into much more that they can carry through in fifth and sixth year. Here we have some students, not just transition year students, as you can see, we've third year students, we've got fourth year students, we've got fifth year students, and they're celebrating a recent win that they had. And uh, holding the trophy there is Orrin Ferris, uh, who's captain and also a transition year student. And I suppose transition year gives our students, particularly our athletes or those students who are budding athletes, an opportunity to uh, focus on enhancing or developing those skills to go forward. We've had many students who've used transition year to focus on their um, athletics uh, with the aim of getting into the national team representing Ireland. And that has happened on many students, whether it's basketball or athletics. And it's we encourage a lot of sport and activity um, in transition year. And as you can see there, there's another initiative, uh, the Pukfada, where we've got students uh, driving slitters. And not only students, we have a few teachers there as well who are <laughs> driving the uh, slitters. I managed to avoid getting caught for that because I definitely wouldn't have been able to hit the slitter at all. Here we have uh, some of our students who are involved in junkature. We've got three students, they're modeling clothes that they designed and made 
from recycled goods it's junk couture so it's about recycling goods or upcycling old material and as you can see there there's some incredible outfits being made by our students that you could see on any of the catwalks be it milan um be it uh, london new york or here feed it um, so our students are getting the opportunity to flex their design muscles their skills their initiative and it's a great thing for students to get involved in here are some of our students as you can see are taking a break from packing hampers for uh, St Vincent de Paul um, the transition year students are at the forefront of the campaign at Christmas to gather up all the goods and pack them up and give them out to much needy families uh, within our local area and it it's just part of the transition year program that our students get involved in community activities and um, get involved in initiatives in which they uh, reach out to the community to the vulnerable uh, to those who are needy and it's a great way of learning for themselves about the world that's around them it's fantastic at what the work that our students have done so what are we talking about tonight we'll talk about the rationale behind ty and why ty might be relevant to you the benefits of ty the proof that TY works from some small amount of um, the vast, vast data that's out there. There's many documents about why TY works. And then you can ask yourself, why do transition here? At the end, you should be able to answer that question yourself. So transition here, how does it benefit you? Well, it benefits you um, socially. So how does it do that? Well, it does it by participating in many different activities, team events, going on away days with your students. You might be going with your class, you could be going with a mixture of people, um, and all of these help you engage socially with each other. Organising activities, you the students organise activities in transition year, and they help you to develop those skills. Um, working with your peers, make doing presentations in class you may have to stand up and do presentations others you have to do them for your digital portfolio uh, there are many competitions as you saw there already junkature there is uh, the gold mine that you saw there and um, there's many many competitions that our students are involved in YSI, EQ, UNESCO um, media competitions all out there uh, for our students to get involved and in that help them socially and of course the president's awards Goshka Goshka is fantastic our students we had a record number last year of students who participated in Goshka with the result that we had nearly all getting their bronze award and they were engaged in activities that they might normally do getting new skills developing new activities that many of them are carrying on now and the president's awards they're socially they go out on walks together there's an overnight component that hopefully our students will be engaging in this year so that you guys hopefully next year will definitely be doing it where you do you walk to um camp to Anaskal overnight in Anaskal is what we've traditionally done and walk the rest of the way the next day to Dingle it's a long walk it's an incredible walk but on that journey and it is a journey the students mix with each other learn more about each other and it's a fantastic way of developing those social skills our students develop spiritually as well um, we are a catholic voluntary secondary school and transition year no more than any other year reflects the ethos of the school reflects that catholic ethos and we do that in our community work our students traditionally went out uh, and worked within the community helping out in the charity shops helping out in various uh, um, homes for the elderly um, in various places in schools um, working with vulnerable adults and a fantastic way of allowing our students to do the work of Christ but also at the same time opening their eyes up to the world around them um, unfortunately the last two years we couldn't get engaged in that so we're looking forward hopefully for that to start again please God it will as mentioned earlier students doing a lot of charity work whether it's raising money much needed money for the buses for the Kerry Cancer or Cork Kerry Cancer Bus Link or it could be just charities like St Vincent de Paul Women's Refuge various charities around that are the Down Syndrome Maryland we raise funds for them we raise funds for the autism dogs um, lots and lots of different things so like 
guide dogs for people with autism we've raised funds for that professional so there's been various things that we have done uh, and many people come to us looking for um, us to get involved in fundraising and our students are only too happy you may have seen our students out and uh, selling lollipops for osteoagro cancer um, and not just selling lollipops to raise money but also by doing this raising awareness which is just as important um, in transition year our students care for each other oftentimes students are put in new classes ne don't know many and it's a way of people to develop those relationships and to care for each other and to look out for each other the base class becomes their core unit during the year they obviously mix with each other in other uh, optional subjects as well but certainly caring for each other is you see that coming through time and time again in transition year peer tutoring um, we've had we have transition years who tutor or do guide work with first years and it's great for them to give back to first years and it also allows the first years to feel more comfortable coming in knowing that there's a friendly face and so it works both ways and it's a fantastic thing and again living that message and we have um, many liturgical festivals during the year whether it's uh, Christmas mass or whatever we we engage in those in transition year and our students this year were very much involved with the beautiful choir that you may have seen and if you haven't check it out on youtube it might be that seasonal now but it's certainly a lovely watch it's something that's very beautifully uh, done by our students and of course social justice our students whether they're eco unesco ysi um or many other um things that are out there issues whether it's um fair trade our students often get involved in these whether they're debating it or whether they're actually engaged in raising awareness of funds for them they're certainly involved in social justice uh, our students in, in ty how is it physically well through activities regular pe classes we have hill walking or walks we get them out as much as possible and it's fantastic what we have on our doorsteps here to get them out and see uh, Glendaginty, Glentanasig, um, the, the hopefully the, the walk the Fina to the Greenway there. All of these things we will be out there sampling them and enjoying them. Surfing, um, orienteering, uh, sailing. Um, <laughs> there's so many things that you can do in Kerry. You're so lucky. We're so lucky here. Um, they do coast steering, jumping off cliffs, all of these things. And as I mentioned earlier, extra time devoted to sport. And we also have a core group that are do involved in active leisure as well. And, and they raise um, awareness on sport and activities. And they teach students how to get involved in um, sport and activities. And they also help uh, train teachers as well in uh, getting fit and keep fit classes. So how does transition year uh, help our students intellectually? Well, we have our core subjects, English, Irish, maths, we, and the languages, the modern foreign languages, uh, French, Spanish, German. Uh, and we also, so they will be the core subjects that we look at um, and work on. And also we have other subjects that, that are core like drama and religion that they do all the time and they help them um, spiritually but also putting their students in a drama group means that students who may have ducked and dived or may have never gotten the opportunity to go on stage hopefully will get the opportunity to be on stage at least once in transition year. And that's a great thing to get up there and stand in front of your peers or maybe do it online or whatever way they'll be doing it. They get a, they get a, such a kick out of doing it and it really helps with their self-esteem. And it really helps with them just to deal with things. Uh, but like English, Irish, maths and modern foreign languages, there's a big focus on those, uh, particularly for exams going into fifth year or so to help place them uh, where they, they rightly should be um, for their levels. We also have many options and you know if I went through them all there these are just some of the 16 week modules like economics and accounting program and graphics woodwork Chinese P and leisure research home economics environmental studies media studies history geography higher ordinary level maths creative writing oral Irish active leisure art geography music choir tourism philosophy are just some of the many options that we have and it varies and changes every year what you see is that list there mightn't be prescriptive of what you'll have but certainly we offer a wide 
breadth of subjects for you to sample. Many of them that you can sample going into Leaving Cert. So some of them that you might sample out there that may be an opportunity for you to do in third level as well. And again, there's unique programs offered like YSI, Young Social Innovators, uh, European Studies Programme, which is a fantastic programme run by Miss McBride, in which the students, I Miss Carey to know to some, uh, in which the students engage in pol political things that you mightn't think students would be interested in, but they are fantastic at getting involved in it. And they are debate nationally, they debate with other schools, and they get to travel with this. And we've had students who are up, uh, have had the opportunity to go to uh, the European Union, uh, the European Parliament uh, in Strasbourg. Fantastic opportunities that are there. Um, not guaranteed all the time, but there are fantastic opportunities that may arise. Enterprise education, we've had students come up with br brilliant projects, um, great ideas for, for um, equipment to be sold in school, coming up with ideas. We've had students who, you might say, oh, they're coming up with the idea of just selling socks. They've gone on to sell these sporting equipment afterwards started something in TY and continued with it well after TY. So there's loads of opportunities for enterprise there as well. Again, environmental education, we have horticulture, we've um, students out uh, for five weeks. Every student gets five weeks of horticulture. Um, fashion show, as I mentioned earlier, fashion design, tourism, we, we're connected in with NTU, and we, there's a brilliant tourism program there. And given you know how much of an industry tourism is in Kerry it is a well worth um, subject for students to study uh, IT obviously in the classroom we do drumming as well which is fantastic for rhythm it's also a group bonding exercise as well and I, there's stilt walking mentioned there as well we do circus skills you might think how is stilt walking relevant but stilt walking our students are rely that group work that um, trust that you put in others to make sure you don't fall over and we've had students and after five minutes of walking up and down on the stilts and they have a ball with it you know develop skills and you know getting over the fear of heights and you know balance all those things as well uh, work shadowing that's a unique program it's a fantastic program and I'll talk more about that in a while active leisure wheelchair basketball athletics uh, peer tutoring animation we've done animation with the Kerry County Museum we've uh, entered animation competitions we've done filmmaking um, we've done sound engineering as you can see there many of the events that we run in school it's the students at the sound desk they learn we've a fantastic resource Mr. Andachetti who's in the school is a sound engineer He's the, he's worked with some of the most major important uh, musicians in Ireland and he teaches our students sound engineer which is we're very lucky to have him. So why should your son or daughter or do transition here? Why do you the third year student think transition might be a benefit to you? Well it gives you a time to mature and develop and you might hear that thrown out an awful lot but it's true it does give you that year to step out. You've been in first year, second and third year told what to do this is a course, this is a homework you have to do, get done into class all the time. Transition is a little bit different. You'll be given that space to reflect, but that space to mature and develop, they're given that time. And we see time and time again how the transition year student, when they go into fifth year, are much more mature compared to the third year student who goes straight into fifth year. Uh, teachers will always say to me, you can always tell the transitioner students are just that bit more mature, they're that, just that bit more cop on as well. Um, most of them. Uh, space to reflect and plan. That time to reflect, think about what they want to do. And we encourage that. We, we scaffold that reflection to make sure that, that it, it comes to some fruition. We ask our students to set goals at the beginning of the year. Um, something that can be done straight away a goal that's achieved straight away an intermediate goal something that they can be work on and then a long-term goal for the year and that time and space is given with their core tutor to achieve those so students are encouraged to reflect on where they are and where they're going and to plan for where they're going the transition year allows students to develop new competencies new skills hone skills that they already have, but also to develop new skills that they mightn't realise that are there. And transition year allows them, you know, even just networking, communicating, uh, being able to get on with new people, to be able to have empathy and understanding. Skills, you know, companies are brilliant 
to develop and to carry forward and transition year allows you that opportunity that space to do that uh, preparation for challenges that lie ahead not just the leave insert okay many people think that transition year is that transition from third year to leave insert yeah it is that but it's also more than that it's also preparing you to leave school to go out into the world you know use that time in transition year to learn how to cook I left school at 17 I went to school I did not know how to cook and thank God for good fellas pizzas because I did not know how to cook and oftentimes I I trashed those I did a so bad job on it because I didn't know how transition year will give you that chance to prepare for those challenges that lie ahead you know like you could go to college or work you'll be leaving home like it, you may have found that you were waited on hand and foot by your parents all the way through and now you're cast adrift and you mightn't have those skills ty will allow you that space to develop those skills that will prepare you that you are ready for the world out there after you leave home so what are the benefits of ty well for the leave insert you're more informed on subject choice that's absolute i mean you're given a chance to sample subjects that you mightn't have uh, the chance to experience if you go from third year into fifth year you may be choosing biology you might not actually know what the course entails you may decide you, you might have heard of that physics might be a good subject but you might not have experienced it and you might find that you actually don't like it now i'm not just picking out the science subjects we'll be talking about anything here but that's a crucial example there because students are given that opportunity to sample them and sometimes they may discover that there's a subject there that like ag science that they never thought of doing they take it for the year and realize this is actually something i can do and we've had students who were going saying all the time i'm going to do biology i'm taking ag science because it's one of the options there i didn't get biology maybe or i've got uh, i can get that after christmas so i'm going to do ag science and find the, something they really enjoy and they've taken it on to leave insert and done quite well with it so you're more informed on the subject choices, particularly students in transition year and students in third year. If you go into fifth year, you have to make your choices uh, probably around March, early March. Transition year gives it an opportunity to make help you decide on what subjects you may want to choose for your leave insert. And they do that by aptitude testing. And also there's a program that we run that we'll be running in uh, February that will allow our students to you know find out where they are themselves and help them to be more informed so when they make those choices that there's something that they hopefully won't regret afterwards it'll also make students independent self-directed learners which is very important you know to, so that they can engage in the research the project work that is crucial in some of the leave insert subjects it'll, it'll allow them to understand what type of assessment and it's particularly self-assessment which is crucial students need to be self-aware so that they can assess where they are so that they can then make those changes that it may be necessary to improve as they go forward and it also will help them make um, their ceo choices or, and understand what the course requirements through studying or you know understanding or doing research on subjects that they might want to do for the leaving cert or afterwards in third level and third level here it'll give you those self-management skills as I mentioned, I left school, I had no management skills. I was lucky to get through alive. Uh, but by having something like transition year, hopefully you get a sample of those. I'm not going to say that when you come out of transition year, you're going to be you know, completely self-contained and well able, but you will have that understanding of what it requires. You will have those time management skills. A lot of things are left up to the students. I would give opportunities to students. I would put up in Google Class, and it'll be up to the students to reply. You might, as a parent, won't get some of those notifications students will and that's deliberately so so to see whether they can manage that and organize themselves to fill out forms organize themselves to get things in on time S they'll develop new study skills and hopefully by the end of transition year and if not by the end of transition year but by the end of fifth year that they can be independent self-directed learners they'll be engaged in group project work and research skills that are so important going into the world of work or third level where you may have to work with others you will have research to do you will have project work to do and you will be expected to do that a lot of times by yourself and of course crucially ict skills having a phone like this let's turn off the bottom doesn't mean you've ict skills 
you actually might need to do a little bit more than that. So give you those skills, maybe basic skills in spreadsheets, um, using Word, using Google Slides, PowerPoint, all of those things. And we encourage that our students have to do a digital portfolio, a Google portfolio where they put all their work in. It's um, a website they have to make for themselves and design themselves and put all their stuff in there the project work, the documents will be linking them all, giving them those ICT skills that are so crucial going forward into third level or the world of work. So as an adult and working life, how does TY help you? It can help build up your self-esteem. We've had students come in who've been quite insecure about themselves, had difficulties engaging with others, but by the end of the year, they're very much more aware of their abilities and proud of who they are and are can be quite assertive by the end of the year. That's That won't necessarily happen straight away. It does take a journey to get there, but certainly we would hope that by the end of transition year, our students will be have more self-esteem and are more assertive, and that'll stand to them going out into the adult and working life. Again, mentioned earlier, mentioned a few times, developing relationships with each other, being, developing relation, working relationships, being able to be collegial, being able to engage with people that you might necessarily know. I know students who, who are in classes with others in first to third year and they don't know some of their student, their, their fellow students. Hopefully this will encourage them to engage with those so that they may learn a bit more about them, to be more mature in how they um, deal with those that may be uh, working with them. Um, it gives them teamwork skills, maturity, critical judgment, careers, work experience, work simulation. As I mentioned earlier, work shadowing is a huge part of transition year. For half the year, our students will be out. So for one to four, three will be out from September to uh, Christmas. At the moment, it's set up that they're out every Wednesday so that there's f uh, 16 weeks so four weeks of each um, type of work shadowing that they want to engage in. So they, they have four different types of work shadowing, four different experiences in the world of work that is so important for experience in life and helping them decide maybe in the subjects they want to do. I've often told the story about uh, the student who always wanted to be a vet and some of you here who've had um, children in TY before have heard this and are sick of hearing it but I think it's very important. Uh, there was a student who always said they wanted to be a vet, wanted to be a vet, wanted to be, they, that was what they were obsessed with when they went in to TY, that's what they said they were going to do and they were looking forward to going out work shadowing with the vet. Um, so off they went, they did the four weeks and at the end of it I said, and how'd you get on? And he said, I don't want to be a vet. They hated it. And there's nothing against vet and me, anybody out there who's a vet. It's just that this person didn't like it for whatever reason. They had an idea of what it was going in. Could you imagine if that student went on um, never experienced uh, veterinary, went on and that's what they were going to do, worked hard for the leaving cert and got veterinary and were in the course and realised this is not for them. This, by going out and experiencing that world of work and realising that's not for them, that's a success. So you may find that there's something you don't want to do, you may come away disappointed, but I think that's a great success because it means then that you know that that's not something you want to engage in. Or it might be the flip side, you realise there's something you've gone and gone out and done and you realize this is what I want to do or sometimes you might go out and find yeah I got something there but I don't know but at least you've had experience of it and it mightn't be just the work itself it might be just the whole environment the whole nine to five job all of that that very few of us get to experience until we're actually out into the real working world and then we've got interviews we ask our students uh, to do a mid-year review and to do a review at the end of the year. And that's an interview where I or one of my colleagues, uh, one of the core team, will interview uh, your son or daughter uh, halfway during the year and see how they're getting on. And then from that review, they will then set up uh, recommendations that they will follow through. And then we will interview them again at the end of the year and then see how they did they follow those uh, recommendations. And it's a fantastic thing. Many of us, the only time we get have an interview is when we're actually going for a job. And that by that stage, there's so much at stake. You're trying to get a job and you mightn't have had any interview skills or practice before. At least it's a small opportunity to engage in that type of experience. And of course, um, social, personal health education is provided for students uh, for to prepare them for the world out there as well. So where is the proof that TY works? Where's the science behind it? Here's the science part. 
Aidan Clarkin with the Economic Resource um, did um, a study in 2019 called Why do we, What do we know about transition era and look into the future? And these are his findings. He found that doing work experience and having opportunities engaged in the adult world was beneficial to the students, hugely beneficial to the students. Um, they found thinking about learning and about the possible future careers or areas of learning was a critical part of the transition year experience that students got to find potential career opportunities and learned about learning as well. They found He found through his studies that students who did TY made stronger subject choices for the senior cycle. Um, after subject sampling and insights uh, achieved from work experience. Uh, students took by taking part in musicals, mini companies and other medium or long term projects really found that that stood to them uh, for their self-esteem, um, for understanding what it means to to see something true. These are things that students learn about themselves. It helps students to develop self-regulatory and organisational skills. For some people, their organisation skills are an absolute disaster. They are. And you may know that you may have a son or daughter who may not be the most organized human being in the world. And that's all right. But hopefully by doing TY, it they, they might give them an opportunity that a lot of it rests on themselves. And they can miss out on events because they didn't get themselves organized. And that helps push them or propel them to get organized. I'm not saying that by the end of it that they'll be super organized, but at least maybe they'll be more aware of what they need to do to be organized going forward. It also, uh, uh, by doing transition year, students felt more mature and independent. And as I said, borne out by even teachers' experiences, transition year students tend to be more independent and they certainly are more mature than their counterparts who just go straight in from third year into fifth year. And by doing transition year, students find new interests and develop new skills, personal, social, practical and artistic. And as I mentioned already, the Goshka is fantastic for that. Goshka allows our students to develop new skills that you know they might learn how to play the piano might learn how to play the guitar might learn some uh, skill in making or carving or whatever it is I mean, we've had students who never did any of those things beforehand had to do something for goshka had to do a new person skill did one of these and found that they enjoyed it and carried that through for the rest of their life i have had students who've uh, they're adults now and they play guitar away and it's something that they only start in transition year and again, um, develop stronger social skills and confidence. Absolutely. And that's a finding from Aidan Clarkin that students who do TY have stronger social skills and are much more confident. Uh, another one done by the NCCA, which is the National Council of Curriculum and Assessment, they found that TY students do better by an average of 25 points. Now that's something. Okay. And they compare that to students who didn't do TY and they, um, you know, may have repeated the exams. They found that those students, repeated students, only gained an average of five points. So that, that, that's something worth considering. The students who do TY tend to perform better in exams. TY candidates are also likely to be more educationally adventurous. As I mentioned, the student who took on uh, agricultural science never would have taught it beforehand, took it on and did very well in the Leaving Cert. Students who do TY are more educationally adventurous because they get those opportunities to sample those subjects that they might never have thought of. Uh, applied maths, uh, physics, uh, you know, chemistry. We've In the science area alone, we've had a, a great uptake in those, whereas traditionally a lot of students would have done biology in the past are now being more adventurous and realising that there's a wide breadth of subjects out there that they can actually choose and that they're actually good at. And that's from a research pro um, in 2004. So, in TY, and I'm sorry to break this, uh, uh, students, you do have homework to do. You have project work definitely to do. In TY, we do assessment. There's two major assessments we do. One is at Christmas and one is at... Um, the summer they're formal assessments and they help in part in us placing our students going into fifth year so it's an important part uh, so we are the, the work that the students do in their subjects is very important so we place a great emphasis on that and as i said already there was a big gap 
between first, second, and third year, and fifth and sixth year. Transition year will help bridge that gap. It'll help bridge and help um, heal that disruption that you've had from first to third year to prepare you going into the Leaving Cert. So certainly uh, considering TY for that alone is important given the amount of disruption that you've had in your learning experience from first to third year. So Christmas and summer exams we do as I mentioned already the mid-year review which is an interview in January. Uh, you will have a portfolio work a digital portfolio in which you will keep that as the year goes on and that give you those organization skills to make sure that you have everything logged and kept and re record it and you will also have a core teacher who will monitor each base class so the core teacher will monitor each base class and their progress go going during the year so ty is a year of discovery as mentioned already it helps to discover who you are or where you're going it'll hopefully help you identify the strengths and weaknesses that you have and any weakness that you have it'll hopefully help you to start working on addressing those it'll certainly give you your likes or dislikes you may like something now and you may find by the end of TY you don't like it and that's okay because it's a year of discovery so it might you might discover new things that you really like that you never thought of before and as mentioned already it gives you an opportunity to sample new subjects a broad breadth of subjects there for you to engage with so that it'll give you a, uh, an opportunity to make decisions going into fifth year. Again, it should provide you with new ways to study, self-directed learning, online collaboration. You will be doing work online with your fellow students, maybe on a project and it, preparing to teach others. And that certainly is something that we have with our students who are doing their peer work with the first years. So our fourth years working with the first years, they're teaching them, you know, basics about the school itself and also cr creating a sense of responsibility about themselves and helping to impart that on others so that they can carry that forward. It also gives you an increased confidence and that space to mature. That's so important. You need that space to mature. That year gives you that. Um, pre preparation for the adult world, I mentioned that already. Um, it certainly does, not just in terms of um, work, which work experience will give you, but also by hopefully giving you an opportunity to get your those skills, those life skills that might be useful for you once you leave home and not cook good fellas pieces like some. And an appreciation and a discovery of the world of Kerry. Some of you are fantastic. You're out walking all the time, but there's many that may not have got out and about this is a year of opportunity for you to walk uh, cycle uh, sail hopefully co-steering jumping off rocks into the water um, discovering the landscape around you on trail walking orienteering uh, these are just some samples of it and like this year for example their students are going on a tour they're not going on a tour abroad they're going on a tour around Ireland so they get to discover the world and the doorsteps uh, in this country so they're going to Dublin Belfast Derry and uh, Galway so they'll have three nights and four days and it, it's a, a great way of bonding and learning to mix with others but also to sampling the country that we have here you know sampling everything that we have on our own doorstep as I mentioned and for many, it's a way of making new friends. And for many, TY is a unique way of preparing for fifth and sixth year, as I mentioned, through study skills, by uh, discovering new subjects that they may, and also, as I mentioned, helping you prepare by bridging that gap between the disrupted learning experience that you've had from first to third year to what you may have going from fifth to sixth year. So, It'll help you in self-directed in your endeavours of learning. Um, and we always encourage our students to find one activity to, uh, for yourself. And as I mentioned, Goshka, you will have to pick up new uh, skills. And a lot of those new activities are what you're going to use for Goshka. And hopefully this year you will use it to improve in academic areas where you have identified a weakness. And that's very important. Identifying a weakness means that you've something to work on. 
And this year is the year to do that. And again, it's to get fit or fitter. By Goshka or by the act of leisure, there's opportunities there for you to walk, run, engage in PE, engage in new sports. All of those things are there. And hopefully for some of you, it'll be a way of getting fitter or improve your skills um, in whatever sports you're playing. And again, as I mentioned, taking on new challenges. Put yourself out of your comfort zone. And that's very important in transition here. Putting yourself out of your comfort zone. And I just want to talk about the structure of classes. Uh, we, we do a mixture of ways of putting together our, our classes. Uh, this year we have seven classes in transition year. And those seven classes are pretty full classes. And we carefully manage the structure of that. We, we Oftentimes when we're building our classes, it's based on languages. It can be based on exemptions of subjects. It can be based on SNN, SNAs. Um, there's a lot of different combinations in how we put together our class and oftentimes our students uh, that and are going into classes where they may have had friends from first to third and now they're going into a classroom base class where they have no friends and they may find that quite daunting and I understand that worry but believe me I found that a lot of students come out of those base classes with their best friends for the rest of their time in school. People they didn't know beforehand are now their best friends. It's an opportunity to make new friends. You will always have your friends that you've had from first to third year. So we take the structure of those classes very seriously. And therefore we don't give a whole lot of room for maneuver in moving students out. So just bear that in mind when you're considering transition year that we structure the classes and it's for your benefit. You make new friends. It, very few people, if any, come out of it regretting it based on that because they make so many new friends. There's so many opportunities to meet new people within transition year. Um, you be working and with and be mindful of those less able, whether they're fellow students or when, when it's when you're out in the community doing community work, if you're out in community work, that you will have appreciation of those less able and that you will have an understanding and that you'll be able to work with them to help out or to work with okay and also transition year is a time to be mindful of yourself using that time to working on yourself developing your self-esteem your confidence doing that over the year not expecting that to happen straight away but doing that over the year so that by the end of the year you're going into fifth year hopefully more open-minded more confident more assertive about yourself so in TY we ask you to have an open mind to new experiences, open mind to new situations and open mind to new people and always volunteer, get in there, have fun, commit to get involved because you get out of TY what you put in. Now the cost of TY for the 2021-22 is 450 and I imagine it's going to be the same. Um, but I will I will have confirmation on that in the application form which will be sent out via Compass. So here's a bunch of our students um, they're been on the Goshka walk and they're having a well-earned break on the way and a lot of these made new friends as I said new experiences new horizons and we're hoping the same for you that you will experience the same. So hopefully that will give you an understanding of transition year. As I mentioned, the application forms will be sent out to you on Compass. Uh, it'll be sent out to you, the parents on Compass, and you'll be, it's a Google form, very straightforward to fill out. And it'll, once you fill that out, it'll go straight back to us. And once you submit it, and once that's done, you don't have to worry about printing off. You don't have to worry about giving it to your son or daughter and them losing it in the bag. It'll be get to us straight away. So that'll be accessible through Compass. Uh, so make sure you keep an eye for that we will be sending that out in the, in the next coming days um, so and again just I know some of you students were wondering about a tour just to say that we have nothing decided on that we're just going to see how things are going as mentioned we are going on a tour this year it's inland it's in Ireland but certainly we would envisage that hopefully going forward that may we may have the opportunity to go uh, abroad again and where that will be 
that decision will be made during the summer. Okay, so hopefully that's all your questions answered. If you have any queries or anything that you're not sure of or that I haven't answered for whatever reason or may have missed, uh, certainly get in contact with me, Ronan Redican at mercymontalk.ie or call the office and I will endeavour to get back to you as soon as possible. So, if you're till the 4th of February to make up your mind, I'm sure that you will look forward to engaging with me in transition year in 2022-23 and I will look forward to working with you. Take care and good night.